Hello YouTube, this is Terrell. Today is Wednesday, October 5th, 2011. Here we are again looking at this picture. This picture seems to be the focus of my investigation right now. This picture was sent to me as part of a video from Crew4T after he saw it from the SOHO. And he said this event horizon right here, that this looks like what he saw through his telescope, that he's seen this before. He cannot see with the object inside, he cannot see the 330 orbital coming out, or the 11 o'clock, or the 12 o'clock, or the 730 orbital, that I thought was Elenin, which was, whenever this thing was further out, Elenin was right here, to this object, right here. Okay, I did include uh, Crew4T's testimony, that's 15 minute video about what's following Elenin. I think it's this thing right here. At this point in my investigation, right now, this is what makes the most sense. Okay, I've got a little bit more uh, information that I want to share with you. This is from BP's, from my last video or the one before. I, bl I believe it was from the last video. Um, he's wanting to know, what is it? And people have been writing me saying, well, this was back from 2007. I know that. Come on, guys. This, that's the point. Think about it. If this thing's been coming out of Leo for 1,800 years, then it's been... It's been out there for a very long time. This is what NASA hasn't been showing us. This image is scrubbed from most pictures. It's, it's not common knowledge. I, I talk to people about the solar anvil. They don't know what I'm talking about. That's why I've included this video. Stop. Go down to the... Stop this video right now. Go down to the description box and click on this link. And listen to this video right here. It's 9 minutes and 12 seconds. Here's the anvil right out here. Here's the sun right here. And listen to the descriptions. You've got a, he describes a trough. There's a trough of inactivity right here. This is where the magnetic portals are connected. Right through here. You're seeing um, solar flares, solar flare activity. But the, the uh, guy giving the commentary says this thing's been here. It's always been there, according to him. That, that Well, if it's always been there, why haven't we got record number of X-class flares in the month of September? Why have we got a record number of X-class flares this year from from the years in the past? What's going on here? If this thing's been sitting in the same place, why is it just now? Why is it just now that we're getting the solar reaction that we're getting? Okay, this thing has the symptoms of our dwarf star. This thing right here is giving us the symptoms. Um, Crew4T has identified it as the thing that's following Elenin. Okay. This is going to be the prime suspect in our case right here. If it is what this guy says, listen to him. What you've already listened to him if you've done what I said. Then this thing has mass. It has more mass than all the planets in our solar system. This is the thing we're looking for. I've got a strong feeling right here. This is where I, I hope this wasn't true. It looks like that we have our anvil right here coming around the left side of the sun. Now, if it is there, then I've got a problem. Then we've got a problem. This thing is supposed to still be right hand to the right side of the sun. Uh, th uh, this is the link list. Um, you see this stuff is added right here. Um, the solar anvil video is right here. Um, this is Cruz, uh, the 117, 119-page uh PDF. This is what he saw. Click on this link. Listen to what he saw. This was his testimony that he gave. This is similar to the testimony he gave to me and Envy on May the 29th when he first visualized this thing. It appears that the anvil part is the large magnetic anomaly that he's describing in his video and in his paper. The thing that he feels is following Elenin. That, that this is what this is this fulfills everything that a high density object does. This causes our earthquakes. This causes our magnetic pole migration. The magnetic effect of this thing as it's coming nearer is what's affecting our planet, I feel. So in, in my investigation it feels like that this thing right here, the solar anvil deal, is the event horizon. This thing is like a black hole. And it has event horizon around it. It has orbitals. And it's, it's fitting the profile of my suspect in my investigation. I feel like that this solar anvil deal, the solar anvil deal that this guy says has been out there for, for years, he says it's always been there. I can't believe that it's always been there, but I can understand why it appears to be motionless 
if LNN at 8 AU to 7 AU was coming in at only 32,000 miles per hour, that's that's terribly slow. That's far too slow for anything coming from such a long ways away, out of the Kuiper Belt or out of the Oort Cloud. Think about it. If it's coming from 35 AU to 50 AU to uh, giant numbers, then it has to double in speed ever so often. And if it has great, if this thing has great mass, it has to be falling faster and faster towards our sun. Why is it hovering out there? There's something going on here. Something going on here it has to do with this this solar anvil deal. And this picture right here came from one of our researchers in my research group. And this this is this link's very important because this is where my research data goes on. Anybody that wants to help the research can do so by following these instructions right here. This is the uh, research group link where you can come and share your photos. You can share your links. We have researchers in there sharing information about volcanoes, about solar threat, about earth changes, things that are going on, things that affect our investigation. We have people uh, tracking the geopolitical ramifications of what's happening here, the potential for martial law. All, all kinds of research go into this. It's far more than in uh, dwarf star research maybe I need to rename the the room but um, this is uh, I've been looking for a high density object because that fits the symptoms of what, what I'm looking for here but it could very well have to do with this anvil deal so I want to get this uh, notice out I am looking for more pictures like this if you can send them like this this is from the BP video though so it's a side-by-side -side, it's a side-by-side -side picture of kind of see that you can see why I'm concerned about this right here. Okay, if we have more pictures like this, that's what I'm looking for. Um, usually, this is going to be visual in the infrared. Now, I think it's only visible here. This is either a photographic anomaly or this is a picture of our anvil. And this was taken in daytime, and the uh, it appears that the uh, well, this 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 is a strange picture indeed. It really is. Sun it looks like I've got my anvil here. So this is what I'm looking for in the research. So if you want to help the research, if you want to come to our room and help us with the research, then um, you guys are welcome to do that. And um, you guys have a great day.